before Dumfries used to be a buzzing me too, but it's no anymore. The rents are so high, the rates are so high, so it's driven a lot of shops out. So it's killing the spirit in the community. Where are all the people? Just dying of death. Dying of death. It's like every other rural town centre, it's just <laughs> everything's closing down. Big shops have moved out. Don't know what the answer is though. So I'm here with Evie Copeland from the board of the Mid Steeple Potter Project. Hope I said that right. That's it. Um, so first of all, just tell us about the project. What's it all about? So this is a, a really ambitious town centre regeneration project. And really it's about putting a bit of pride, a bit of love, a bit of passion, a bit of vibrancy back into the town centre. <laughs> Um, at our last count there was about 70 units, shop units, that were empty, which is, is a massive amount and what should be the, the capital of the region if you like. Right. But equally, um, some of the units that you can see up here are, are just too big for retailers now, so what our plan is to make those units that bit smaller, mm -hmm. um, introduce a bit of pop-up space that people can use temporarily mm -hmm. to let startup business, um, creatives, local people who want to do something for a, a little bit of time mm -hmm. without the complication and expense of having to pay a year's worth of rates. Mm -hmm. I think the community ownership part is so essential to a project like this. For whatever, there's been a real heritage of people saying they'll sort it, what are they doing to improve the town centre? Now, the, the sensible part of me would say you would be talking about the local authority there, but there's a responsibility on everybody who lives in an area to improve it. Now, the fact that we've totally rethought what that looks like at, at a community level and context means that this belongs to everybody, so everybody has a stake in what it looks like, what it feels like, what it will be. And above some of these properties, right up, throughout the town centre, there is private rented house in. Um, it's, it can be expensive and the quality can be incredibly poor for what it is. So what our project aims to do is put both cultural and enterprise space on the ground floor of the high street and then build the first affordable house in a generation right. uh, from the first floor up. <laughs> Basically, Mid Steeple Quarter approached the council with the outlook of gaining this building through asset transfer. So that took a few years through various a massive business plan and various meetings and wranglings, etc. So the idea with Mid Steeple Quarter is that it became and is a community benefit society, much like an old building society. For the past six months or so, I've been running this thing called the Duntun Army, which is basically members, as part of the membership, you can say, I'm happy to volunteer in the space or I'm happy to help out. So we have gained maybe two, three hundred volunteer sort of group. They will continue to shape this building as it stands before redevelopment to eventually bring people back to live here. So up the stair will be six to eight family sized flats. Something that I would like is that the people that lived in these flats felt like they had some control on what happened underneath here. So The Stove is an artist-led community organisation based on Dumfries High Street. It has been going since 2011 and about 2014-2015 we actually got a building. So what we do is we run events and workshops and we have a cafe as well and the idea is to regenerate the town centre through these activities and what we want to see is art and culture on the high street and bring a bit of life back to Dumfries that isn't necessarily to do with retail. You know the whole ghost town thing is quite a thing in the media just now and I think with Dumfries we have a lot of shop closures as well and it's been happening for a long time and I think that a lot of people in town centres feel very helpless and feel like there isn't a lot that they can do, especially when these buildings are owned by absentee landlords. And so Dumfries town centre, we've been speaking to lots of people today and saying it's not what it used to be, a lot of shops have closed. Do you think this idea of doing like a, a different type of town centre, you know, that's about community and arts and creativity, do you think that's an idea that can take off and that can inspire people in Dumfries to think that the town centre, the high street in, in Dumfries could be something different to what it's been in the past? Yeah, definitely. I, I think that people have started now to recognise that retail is not the way to go and I don't think we're ever going to get that back, that, that retail is what High Street is because we've got so much online shopping now and I think that we need to now look at a different way of, of seeing our High Streets.